How to survive in the cultivation world with difficulty, a small casual cultivator who has neither qualifications nor background. Ordinary people flow, with millions of old books and guaranteed character keywords of the novel. Changxing starts from casual training without pop-ups, Changxing starts from casual training with full TXT collection download, Changxing starts from casual training with the latest chapter reading. Chapter 1. Difficult Situation. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 1 Difficult Situation Lightning and Thunder Outside, Rainstorm Pouring. The dim glow of the oil lamp illuminated the narrow room, bringing light and warmth. At this moment, L.V. Jean lay on the bed covered in a blanket, staring blankly at the roof with an expression of helplessness. Just recently, he was happily staying up late to cultivate immortality. As an ordinary worker, playing games all night on weekends has become L.V. Jean's only form of entertainment. Compared to various outdoor activities that cost a lot of money, playing games produces dopamine that is cheaper. Unexpectedly, in just a blink of an eye, he arrived here. Xiu Xian, he he, I really came to cultivate immortality. In my mind, sporadic memories keep emerging, all left by the original owner of the body with the same name and surname, who is 28 years old. It is worth noting that this person is a legendary cultivator. Yes, this world can cultivate immortals. Above, one can gaze at the moon for nine days, and below, one can catch turtles in the five seas. But this has nothing to do with him, a cultivator with intermediate qualifications and a lack of gold in the five elements. Cultivating immortals in this realm requires spiritual roots, a magical thing that tree roots are to big trees. Spiritual roots have attributes, corresponding to the five elements of gold, wood, water, fire, and earth. Each person's innate spiritual roots are roughly equal, but according to the number of spiritual root attributes, qualifications can be divided into five levels. The talent of the five spirit roots cannot be carved out of decaying wood. If one does not come from the immortal cultivation family or the immortal sect, or if one is lucky enough to obtain extremely amazing opportunities against heaven, then one can spend their entire life practicing up to the third level of qi refining. And L. V. Zhong's four spiritual roots are of lower middle level qualifications, which are ordinary and ordinary in the cultivation world, like ordinary goods. With resources, he can cultivate to the ninth level of qi refining. If you're lucky, there's still a glimmer of opportunity to become a revered foundation building cultivator. The three spiritual roots further up belong to moderate qualifications. The number of cultivators with such qualifications is not small, accounting for approximately 1 to 2 percent of the total number of cultivators. They are basically the backbone of various major sects and families, and in some small sects and families, they are even trained as geniuses. If they have the right opportunity, they may be qualified to glimpse the Jidan Avenue. As for the dual spiritual roots and mutated spiritual roots, they both belong to the category of cultivating geniuses and are extremely rare. Such characters, as long as they don't die prematurely, are at least the future of the Jidan ancestor. They are usually tightly hidden by various families and sects, held in their hands for fear of falling and being swallowed up for fear of melting. They are all precious treasures. There is also a single spiritual root cultivator, also known as Heavenly Spirit Root. A cultivator with this kind of qualification is the darling of heaven, a true super cultivation genius. The speed of cultivation is not too fast, and once born, it will attract competition from immortal sects or hereditary clans, causing chaos in the cultivation world every time. Perhaps the magnificent scenery of the cultivation world is specially designed for people with such qualifications. But as mentioned earlier, all of this has nothing to do with L.V. Jean. After all, he is just a rookie newcomer who has just introduced qi into his body and has not been practicing for long until he reaches the level of qi refining. Such people are undoubtedly the bottom-dwelling beings in the realm of cultivation. Anyway, let's settle down as soon as we come. L.V. Jean always followed suit. Although he had no hope in his heart, he still began to recall relevant memories, wanting to see what his original self had left for him. 
In my memory, the small house he was in was just rented by his predecessor, and he didn't even stay for a night, so he gave himself a discount. The layout of the small house is one bedroom, one living room, with a randomly built small kitchen. Despite years of disrepair, many areas are susceptible to decay and insect infestation. Fortunately, the main structure is relatively safe, and there is no risk of house damage or death. Flipping through the east and picking up the west, I found a lot of things. A book roll with yellowed paper. About ten sheets of yellow paper. A set of symbol-making tools. A hundred forged steel long sword. Fan me half cylinder. This is all the relics left by the original owner to him. What a poor devil. Lu Zhong said helplessly. I don't know what my original thoughts were, spending all my spiritual stone savings just to rent this dilapidated and dilapidated little house. The reason for renting is to have sufficient spiritual energy to absorb. But is this really just a momentary fever? Feeling restless and unable to fall asleep, he simply picked up the book and started reading it. On the cover page, there are six large characters written with vigorous brushstrokes. Common Talisman Making Methods The signing author is a person named Qinghe Jusher, who introduces himself as a master of making talismans at the beginning. At the beginning of this book, Master Qinghe introduced the level division of talismans in the cultivation world. The talismans in the Qi refining period are of first order, the talismans in the foundation building period are of second order, the talismans in the golden core period are of third order, and so on the first level talismans can be further divided into three levels. Upper, middle, and lower. They correspond rigorously to the middle and later stages of the Qi refining period, and usually require cultivation to reach the corresponding small level before the talismans of that level can be drawn. In the book, Common Talisman Making Methods, a total of seven methods for drawing talismans are recorded. The first level lower level talismans have three types. Cleanliness talismans, candlelight talismans, and avoidance arrow talismans. The first level medium level talismans also have three types. Avoidance dust talismans, lightness body talismans, and exorcism talismans. Finally, there is a method of making a first dot class defense talisman called the golden light talisman, which is the longest and most detailed in the entire book. The Qinghe layman also specially marked a sentence on it. Golden light talismans are essential for our talismans to settle down and establish themselves. After reading all the remaining words of the book, L.V. Zhong learned the original intention of buying this talisman-making book and a complete set of talisman-making tools. It was obvious that he wanted to follow the path of the talisman-maker in order to find a way to make a living for himself. After all, cultivation is not easy, and money is spent everywhere. Just like the small house he is currently living in, although it is infested with insects and mold, he still needs a spiritual stone for monthly rent. Even so, it was only after breaking the head of the original body that they were able to grab it. The original purpose of renting a house is not only to avoid becoming a wilderness for casual cultivation, but also to rely on absorbing the abundant spiritual energy here, so that one's cultivation can grow faster. In other words, rent is equivalent to a spiritual tax. When it comes to rent, L.V. Jean also worries. If you fail to pay the rent in full, you will definitely be kicked out and become a lonely ghost with no one to rely on. Based on the average lifespan of wandering in the wilderness, he determined that he would not survive for three days. Thinking of this, L.V. Zhong secretly complained in his heart and quickly recalled the memories related to the talisman making. There are many things in my memory about practicing making talismans in the original body, but unfortunately, this person's talent for making talismans is mediocre and he did not receive guidance from a master of talismanship. Apart from buying a talismanship book, everything else was left to his own exploration. Consuming a hundred pieces of talisman paper to only a dozen or so, we were unable to successfully draw the simplest cleaning talisman. If it were me, it probably wouldn't be much difference, L.V. Zhong couldn't help but feel sad in his heart as he closed the book in his hand. But at this moment, a sharp pain suddenly hit his mind, followed by a whirling sensation. 
Opening my eyes again, I realized that I had entered a foggy space. What's the situation? L.V. Zhong looked around in shock and found many glass-like things floating in the diffuse fog. Subconsciously, he lightly touched them and immediately a clear memory flooded into his mind. This is a memory about his predecessor. By chance, he dug up a spiritual grass and was being chased by someone. A strong sense of fear transmitted through the memory, making L.V. Zhong, who was examining this memory, feel it firsthand. Everything is a retrospective of the scene at that time. Extremely restored, it can be said to be incredibly real. Withdrawing from this memory, L.V. Zhong found that his head began to ache faintly. Every piece of glass lens represents a memory, and touch can achieve memory recall, which requires a certain cost, and is something called divine consciousness here. Having understood this, he no longer dared to casually touch the memories floating in the mist. You can trace your past memories, but what's the use of it? L.V. Zhong squatted on the ground, drawing a small circle, pondering deeply. Suddenly, a spiritual light flashed in his heart and he clapped his hands heavily. By the way, it can be like this. He remembers that the price of buying the original talisman book was not low, because the book seller would guide the drawing of the clean talisman. The knowledge in this world is extremely expensive, and it is impossible to obtain it for nothing. Without paying some price, one cannot obtain any real knowledge from others. It can be said that half of the money spent on buying books by the original body is spent on guiding the drawing of the cleaning talisman. And this memory should still be floating in the mist, and if he checks, he may gain something. If he can really learn how to make talismans through this, he can obtain a means of making a living and thus gain a foothold. As soon as his thoughts began to move, a meteor fell in front of him, which was the memory of the cleansing talisman's guidance. Oh, it also comes with automatic search. Without hesitation, L.V. Zhong directly clicked on it, and a large number of images immediately appeared in his mind. It was like being in the bustling street market, and even the vibration of the wheels rolling over could be transmitted to the soles of the feet. At this moment, an old voice spoke calmly and slowly. Drawing symbols is a meticulous task that cannot tolerate any carelessness. Before starting to draw symbols, it is recommended that you meditate in peace of mind until your mood calms down, and then draw symbols to achieve twice the result with half the effort. I'll only teach you once, but keep an eye on it. This is how the cleaning talisman is drawn. The flower armor old man, who was setting up a stall, picked up a talisman pen and dipped it in a can of talisman ink. His spiritual power was evenly and stably conveyed to the talisman paper through the tip of the pen from his palm. His hands were as stable as iron pliers, and he quickly drew a clean talisman. I see, I didn't expect there to be so many tricks, all of which are not mentioned in the talisman making book. L.V. Zhong was so engrossed in it that he gained a lot of understanding on how to draw a cleaning talisman. Once or twice, the more times one reviews this memory, the greater their gain. After reviewing the memory of this teaching talisman seven or eight times, L.V. Zhong paid the price of depleting his divine consciousness. In his heart, he was finally able to talk about how to draw a clean talisman on paper. Next, it's time for practical combat. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. Attempting to Create Symbols. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2 Attempting to Create Symbols L.V. Zhong first picked the wick to make the flame bright. Then take out the set of talisman-making tools and place them on the square table that has been wiped clean with a cloth. Due to financial constraints, the original set of talisman-making tools left behind are very rudimentary. The handle of the talisman pen is made of ordinary spirit bamboo, using inexpensive scraps of material, and the material of the brush tip is also very shabby, which is the model tail hair of spirit mice. Fumo is still the worst type. According to memory, it uses the blood of a mud shell spirit pig, which is widely raised in the cultivation world. The quality of the spiritual blood they produce is extremely poor, but it can barely be used to make fumo. Looking at this rudimentary set of talisman-making tools, L.V. Zhong thought to himself, 
no wonder his predecessor's talisman making had repeatedly failed. It was really difficult to use these tattered talismans. Well, it should be difficult for him now. If you don't have a spirit stone and still want to learn the system symbol, isn't that making it difficult for you? He sighed helplessly and had to grit his teeth to learn how to make talismans in order to make up for the rent and not be kicked out. In order to save talisman paper, L.V. Zhong initially did not want to use precious talisman paper to practice, but chose to dip the talisman pen in water and start practicing on a square table. Knowing the correct steps to draw a clean talisman is not enough. To draw a clean talisman, L.V. Zhong still has a hurdle to overcome, which is to first draw the shape of the talisman accurately, just like drawing, which requires coordination between hands and eyes. He tried dozens of times in a row, but all he drew were ghost symbols, which had little accuracy compared to clean symbols. Rubbing his astringent eyes, L.V. Zhong reluctantly gave up his plan to continue practicing. Sketches are not something that can be learned in a short period of time. Ah, poor. He let out a heavy sigh and then blew out the oil lamp. Perhaps it was due to excessive depletion of spiritual consciousness and a surge of fatigue that he had just fallen asleep when he fell asleep. I don't know how long I slept, but L.V. Zhong woke up in a daze. Looking at everything unfamiliar around me, my mind was still a bit confused. Until now, he still finds it hard to believe that he has just traveled like this. Hey, what am I doing? L.V. Zhong was surprised to find that he didn't know why he was sitting cross-legged. After a while, I realized that I had subconsciously activated the breathing and breathing technique, which is a small method for entering the Tao. It cannot be considered a true cultivation technique, but its greatest function is to help people guide qi into the body and embark on the path of the Tao. After the successful introduction of qi into the body, the effect of operating this method will be minimal. After operating this method for a week, my mind surprisingly became clear. Lien Xiu's cultivation level also increased by such a slight amount, which surprised L.V. Zhong in his heart and he quickly continued to operate the method. After running for about 10 consecutive weeks, his body has returned to its normal state, making him marvel at the magic of the cultivation technique. I wanted to continue practicing martial arts, but found that my meridians were already hurting faintly. Okay, I almost forgot that I am the Four Spirit Roots, Lu Zhong sighed helplessly. Due to the limitation of meridian strength, the number of times a cultivator can practice martial arts per day is limited, highlighting the importance of qualifications. Those with good spiritual roots have a higher conversion rate of spiritual energy than those with poor qualifications, and the speed of cultivation and progress will naturally be much faster. Over time, there will be a huge gap. There is no way to make up for this gap. Spiritual land, elixirs, martial arts, and so on can all narrow the gap in qualifications. Unfortunately, L.V. Zhong is just a casual cultivator with no spiritual stone in his hand. How could he obtain cultivation resources? Not to mention anything else, he currently doesn't even have a shared basic martial arts book. Unable to help but sigh again, L.V. Zhong couldn't remember how many times he had sighed recently. Helplessly, he got up from the bed and picked up his talisman pen to continue practicing talismanship, hoping to master the clean talisman as soon as possible. Rent, basic skills, and more. Before I could draw a few strokes, my stomach was already rumbling. It's really difficult for a poor person to cultivate immortality step by step. L.V. Zhong had already been tortured to the point where he had no temper. He simply put down the talisman in his hand, took a spoonful of rice, and poured it into the pitch-black iron pot. Pop it. A snap of a finger ignited a spark at the fingertip. Then with a flick of his finger, the flame fell into the stove and extinguished. Surprisingly, it was extinguished. Upon careful inspection, it was discovered that there was standing water inside the stove. At this moment, L.V. Zhong remained expressionless and patiently cleaned the furnace before starting the fire. There was still some time before the rice was cooked, and he didn't have the mood to practice talismans, so he pushed open the door. Outside, the sky is still a bit dark. 
The air in early spring is still fresh, with a faint earthy smell after rain. Squatting on the mossy threshold, he began to recall his place. According to memory, this is a small market called Qin Lu Market. It is so small that it doesn't even have a defensive array, only a lock spirit array to prevent the escape of spiritual energy. Its function is to collect the spiritual energy emitted by the spiritual veins here. As a rural market, Qinglu village covers an area of over 300 acres and is traversed by an east.west street. New and old buildings with varying heights are strolling haphazardly on both sides, and a large number of scattered residents are living here. Most of the scattered cultivators are engaged in the planting industry, including those who grow low-level spiritual rice and those who sell perennial rune grass for money, all of which suffer from digging and eating in the soil. But there are also a small number of people who will go to the nearby deep mountains to collect medicine. Collecting medicine in deep mountains is a high-income and high-risk job, and they may not be able to return when encountering monsters in the mountains. Fortunately, Qinglu village belongs to the nearby Qingyang Gate, which is a Taoist sect that acts fairly. After all, its actions are shameless, so this place is more suitable for casual cultivation and living. Perhaps it was because of this that I chose to settle here. Gu Leng Leng. The wheels rolled on the blue stone road, making a dull noise. These are ordinary night incense women, all of whom are hired by Qingyang Gate to clean up various pollutants in this area. They are currently loading wooden buckets filled with feces onto the car, preparing to take them to a place far away from the market for processing. The toilets will also be carefully washed downstream, and then returned to the original owner's house according to the markings. Yi Xiangfu walked to the door of L. V. Zhong's house, without mocking him for his shabby condition. Instead, her demeanor and demeanor became more respectful, and she kept pushing the cart forward with her head down, afraid that the towering immortal would vent her anger on her. After another period of time, it wasn't until the sky turned white with fish bellies that the entire alley became lively. Someone walked out with a worried expression, carrying a tattered small medicine hoe and carrying a medicine basket, preparing to go into the mountain to collect herbs, someone carried a hoe with sparkling spiritual light and hummed a song as they walked towards the spiritual field outside the countryside, starting a new day of work, someone is still listening to a small tune in the warm house, enjoying the delicious food cooked by ordinary servants. Occasionally, there is a fleeting light passing by the horizon, but it is unknown which big shot is in urgent need. L. V. Zhong looked at everything curiously, many things in this world were so novel to him. He didn't suddenly wake up until the burnt smell came. After hastily finishing breakfast and filling his stomach, L. V. Zhong continued to practice making talismans. After a whole day of hard work and practice, he, who still had a lot of painting experience in his previous life, began to be able to draw the shape accurately, one step closer to successfully drawing the clean talisman. As dusk approached, L. V. Zhong suddenly had a flash of inspiration and took out the jar of talisman ink and a piece of intact talisman paper. Pen like a dragon, quickly outlined every stroke and every drawing of the cleaning talisman on the yellow talisman paper. All the tricks in my mind about drawing this symbol are now vividly emerging. The entire talisman is completed in one go without any obstruction. It's done. L. V. Zhong watched as the light on the talisman paper gradually faded away. He couldn't help but pick it up and look left and right, with a smile on his lips. I didn't expect to have an epiphany, otherwise it would take half a month to draw this talisman. Recalling the feeling of the talisman just now, he took out a blank piece of talisman paper again, dipped a slightly fuzzy talisman pen in some talisman ink, and smoothly conveyed spiritual power through the pen tip to the talisman paper, starting to try to continue making talismans. One or two strokes, just about to be completed, puff. The creation of talismans failed, and the talisman paper ignited due to the disorder of spiritual energy. Without feeling discouraged, L. V. Zhong took out another blank talisman paper and chose to continue trying. One, two, three after three consecutive failures, he finally succeeded once again. After exhausting all the blank runes, L. V. Zhong obtained three successfully drawn clean runes. Excitedly putting them away, 
wrapping them in oil paper and placing them under the pillow, L.V. Jean carefully finished all of this before covering the still undeveloped blanket and preparing to fall asleep. Tomorrow is the opening day of the market, so it's perfect to sell the talismans. End of this chapter Chapter 3 Difficulties in Life You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 3 Difficulties in Life Genius was just beginning to dawn, and L.V. Jean was awakened by the noise outside. The originally sparsely populated Qingxia Road is now filled with footsteps of varying severity. Through the gaps in the wooden boards, it is clear that many simple-dressed individuals, carrying baskets or pushing single-wheeled carts loaded with goods, are heading towards the only street in Qinglu village. There, their goods will be easier to sell. This episode is really early. L.V. Zhong sighed. Without sleep, he rubbed his eyes, got up, put on the wrinkled linen robe, and walked to the kitchen in just a few steps, uncovering the lid on the water tank. Looking at the unfamiliar face reflected in the water, L.V. Zhong couldn't recognize himself for a moment. Upon closer inspection, he noticed that he was somewhat handsome. With a smile, he scooped up a bucket of water and cleaned himself up. While washing up with freshly folded willow branches, he was still recalling information about the opening of the rural market. Qing Lu Market is open every three or eight days. At this time, scattered cultivators and small immortal families, as well as many chambers of commerce of all sizes, gather here and bring various raw materials or finished pills and magical tools for trading. In addition, the rural market will also hold a small auction. It is said that at this time, there will be auctions of top dot quality magical tools, which are the ones that can catch fire on the sword body. But this auction is not something that L.V. Zhong can go to, after all, he is poor and can't even afford the admission fee. Carrying the cleaning talisman wrapped in oil paper in the pocket of his personal clothes, L.V. Zhong pushed open the door with full curiosity. He didn't forget to turn around and lock the door with a copper lock before walking towards the street ahead. In the market, not all street vendors sell spiritual materials. There are vendors selling chickens, ducks, and geese at the end of the street, and various types of needle and thread stalls are also not uncommon. Continuing forward, there are various stalls selling snacks and snacks, as well as theatrical troops singing and acting. Even some flowing orioles may appear in hidden corners of the alley, revealing their half-concealed and charming bodies to attract customers. As for those powerful stores, knowledgeable customers will also lower their proud heads and rarely stand outside to attract customers. At this time, it is always the busiest time in Qin Lu Market. Along the way, L.V. Zhong was surprised by the number of cultivators in Qin Lu Market. He saw nearly a thousand people alone, far exceeding his previous expectations. Perhaps because there is still abundant spiritual energy nearby, there are many monks living together. In L.V. Zhong's original memory, the monks lived in pursuit of spiritual energy, and their figures were hardly seen in places with poor spiritual energy. Trees need roots to grow, and cultivators also need spiritual roots to absorb spiritual energy for cultivation. Those with spiritual roots are very rare among mortals, and can be said to be unparalleled among all. Behind nearly a thousand cultivators, there are millions of ordinary people who cannot cultivate. Thinking of this, L.V. Jean couldn't help feeling a little relieved. Recalling his purpose of selling cleaning symbols, without knowing the market situation, he decided to first inquire about the prices of cleaning symbols at other stalls. How much does this talisman cost? Three talismans per piece, there is a discount for buying by the dozen, the vendor glanced at L.V. Jean and replied calmly. L.V. Jean found a reason, laughed heartily, and then went to a stall to ask for the price. How much does this cleaning token cost? Five talismans money. The vendor was a luxurious woman wearing a rare low dot level magic robe. When she saw L.V. Zhongguang asking if she wanted to buy it, she looked as if she was scared by the price. She couldn't help but sarcastically say, what expression are you looking at? If you can't afford it, go aside. This is a secret talisman passed down from Qingyang Gate, 
and I use top dot quality talisman ink, which cannot be compared to those garbage talismans. The cultivator selling talismans next to him suddenly became unhappy and tilted his gaze at the Yin Yang monster, saying, isn't the cleanliness secret talisman of the Qingyang Gate still a cleanliness talisman? Why, can it still increase cultivation? You. The luxurious woman, who had never experienced such anger, immediately stared and argued with the person. Every word you said, the two of them got into a heated argument, and in the end, they even stopped doing business and started arguing. The initiator, L.V. Zhong, fled early. Later, he asked several vendors about the cleaning cost before walking to a newly sprouted willow tree to summarize. With his chin propped up, L.V. Zhong thought to himself, apart from those so dot called secret talismans, it seems that the price of a clean talisman is only three talismans. Fu Qian is a monetary unit other than Lingxiu, and the exchange ratio between the two is usually 1 to 100. The so dot called rune money is actually a first dot order blank rune paper. Most of the scattered cultivators are poor, and their transaction volume with each other is not high, and they cannot use spirit stones as currency units. Exchanging goods is too troublesome, even giving rise to intermediaries who earn price differences. At this point, the first dot order talisman paper, which is easy to preserve and has relatively stable value, began to be welcomed by the scattered cultivators. Gradually, talismans became a type of currency. Three clean talismans can only be sold for nine talismans. At first glance, after removing the cost of blank rune paper, the profit from making a cleaning talisman is double. However, in reality, this did not include the spiritual power required for talismans. Creating talismans requires spiritual power, which must be transformed by absorbing spiritual energy. As for spiritual energy, it is necessary to rent a house in the countryside to have sufficient spiritual energy to absorb, and the concentration of spiritual energy in the wilderness can only be said to be barren and cannot meet the requirements of the talisman. In the qi refining period, when a cultivator is a body with a hundred leeks, just maintaining their cultivation level requires putting in all their strength, and there is no extra spiritual power to make talismans. Nowadays, L.V. Zhong is only refining one layer of energy, and the total amount of spiritual power recovery is very small. He can draw talismans 15 or 16 times at full calculation. With his current extremely low success rate in making talismans, the path of making a living by making talismans is still not feasible. What should I do? L.V. Zhong intends to continue on the path of becoming a master of talismans, as this path of making a living is relatively easy to start with and the future growth limit is also considerable. In addition, he has the assistance of that gray and foggy space, so there is no reason to give up. But the current situation is that in order to pay this month's rent and obtain the money to continue making talismans, he must find other ways to make money. Alas, it's useless to think too much. It's better to sell the talisman before making a decision. As the sun was about to rise, the flow of people on the street was gradually becoming sparse. If L.V. Zhong didn't take advantage of the crowds to sell the talismans, he would have to endure the scrutiny of the shop assistants who were buying them, and be fiercely pressured to sell them. Coincidentally, someone had finished selling their goods and closed the stall. Upon seeing that the location was quite good, L.V. Zhong quickly ran over and occupied it with his feet. Amidst the surprised gazes of the vendors on both sides, he shamelessly took out the temporary bedsheet that served as a spreading cloth from his pocket. After the cloth was laid flat, he carefully took out the warm oil paper packet from his pocket. Peel off the oil paper layer by layer, fully uncovering six layers of oil paper before revealing the three cleaning symbols inside. Pianqing L.V. Zhong still had a cautious and nervous expression on his face, as if he was afraid of damaging the talisman. His action made the little girl selling talismans at the nearby stall chuckle and emit waves of silver bell-like laughter. It was the first time she had seen such a thick-skinned person. Holding three cleaning talismans, he dares to come out and set up a stall. The people nearby also laughed, but more of it was just teasing. 
L.V. Zhong didn't care about the laughter of the crowd and didn't feel embarrassed to survive. He sat down on his own and waited for customers to come to his door. End of this chapter Chapter 4 Transfer You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 4 Transfer At noon, the sunlight becomes increasingly scorching. Kingliuxu is a place where there is no snow in winter, and summer is even hotter. Therefore, in early spring, the sun can make people's skin feel hot and hot. At this point, none of L.V. Zhong's cleaning talismans were sold. Strange, how could no one buy it? Regarding this, L.V. Zhong felt extremely depressed and couldn't help but recall his memories of the cleanliness charm. According to the original memory, the cleansing talisman can be said to be an essential item for home and travel, but its usefulness is very great. As a type of basic talisman, the cleaning talisman has the effect of removing dirt from the target, including visible dust and various invisible bacteria. It also has a certain cleaning effect on some corpse qi and disease qi, so it can be considered a very practical talisman. It is usually studied by talismans as an introductory talisman, so there are many talismans who can make clean talismans. Even if they are not cultivators who rely solely on talismanship, there are still many who can draw this simple talisman. As far as L.V. Zhong knows, most of the cultivators in Qinglu village, who are within the influence of the Taoist sect, prefer cleanliness. In addition to daily bathing, each person usually takes a cleansing talisman on their body to clean their body regularly, or they have mastered the small magic of cleansing, which can also have the effect of cleansing. In addition to maintaining personal hygiene, cleanliness symbols are also used for cleaning homes. As long as old furniture is photographed with a cleaning symbol, the various dirt attached to it will be shaken away by the spiritual light, and the tables, chairs, beds, and stools will become shiny and new again. It is definitely a powerful tool for cleaning during the Chinese New Year. In addition to the daily uses mentioned above, cleaning symbols also have significant uses in the wilderness. Those cultivators who wander in the wilderness will also purchase in large quantities, after all, there are very few safe places in the wilderness, and every bit of spiritual power needs to be carefully calculated. It is impossible to waste them on keeping the body clean. Especially when crossing through muddy, dirty and filthy underground caves, the role of a cleaning talisman is even more evident. At the same time, the cleansing talisman also has many uses in martial arts. For example, fighting a zombie, the venom on its body is the most headache-inducing thing, and the various bacteria and fungi accumulated in the dark underground over the years are like poison to surface creatures. But if we can throw a dozen cleansing talismans on zombies during the war, these troubles will no longer exist. There are even specialized books summarizing the usage of cleaning symbols. Although it was such a useful thing, L.V. Zhong waited for a long time but still couldn't sell it. He had no choice but to blame himself as a novice talisman maker. As a novice talisman maker like him, the talismans he draws often have some minor flaws, so very few cultivators will purchase them at the original price without actively offering discounts to attract customers who are greedy for cheap goods. It is estimated that they will not be able to complete a business in ten and a half days. Gollum L.V. Zhong's stomach started ringing again. He didn't have breakfast in the morning, and by this time he was already starving. At this moment, a white and tender arm stretched out beside her, holding a hard pancake in her hand, but it was handed over by the little girl selling talismans. She said with a smile on her face. Here, take the cushion to cushion your stomach. L.V. Zhong felt a bit embarrassed for a moment, but unfortunately, he was really hungry and shamelessly thanked him for taking it. The pancake is made of wheat flour, roasted to the perfect heat, emitting a strong wheat aroma. Lowering his head, he started gnawing on it there. The nearby vendor burst into laughter upon seeing this. A woman who knew the little girl immediately coaxed and said, Arya, aren't you interested in her? Yeah, yes, he has spiritual roots. If he were recruited back to become a golden turtle son. In law, he would definitely give birth to a chubby kid next year. Pooh, pooh, don't talk nonsense. 
The little girl had thin skin and couldn't withstand such ridicule. Her face turned red and she quickly defended herself, I. I just saw him as a talisman maker and wanted to find a way to sell my own talisman grass. Ha ha ha. Ha ha ha. Everyone is just bored and looking for fun. They are all from the neighborhood, and they know how to speak with moderation. They don't say much, just laugh. L. Yu Zhong didn't expect that eating a piece of cake would lead to so many things. Fearing that everyone would shift the topic to him, he dared to sit on the edge of the bluestone road by the street, silently continuing to nibble on the hard, toothless cake. However, the little girl's words just now also reminded L. V. Zhong that he may not need to buy finished rune paper in the future, and it is also possible to buy rune grass to make rune paper himself, which can save another penny. As the flow of people on the street becomes sparser, more and more monks are returning home from stalls. Under the pressure of life, women each have their own tasks to do. For those who cannot afford the help of ordinary servants, they also have to start a fire and cook for themselves, feed the starving children at home, and take care of their elderly parents who cannot walk. And the pillars of those homes are also very busy. Some of them have to take care of the rune grass without the protection of the magic array to prevent insects from flying outside from biting the grass, or they have to go to the spiritual field to cast spells. Only by repeatedly practicing the spirit rain technique can the growth of the spiritual rice improve. Life here is not easy, everywhere is filled with firewood, rice, oil, and salt. On L. V. Zhong's side, seeing that he couldn't sell a clean talisman for a long time, he had no choice but to close the stall and leave. He greeted the little girl next to him who was still persevering, and instead of walking towards the shabby cottage at the end of the street, he prepared to take advantage of the rare day when the market opened and take a stroll around the slightly bustling Qing Lu market. At this moment, those who are still setting up stalls on the street are mostly monks with relatively abundant resources. They all have one thing in common, which is that their cultivation has at least reached the middle stage of qi refining, they master a craft that is sufficient to make a living, and most of them are not young. These cultivators either cross-legged to absorb the spiritual energy of the refined market, seemingly intending to earn back the booth money, or gathered in groups of three and two, enthusiastically discussing interesting things happening around them recently. Sitting beside him listening for a while, L. V. Zhong realized that the discussion was all about trivial matters. It's not that the elders of any family have married a concubine again, it's either that the Taoist priest of a certain sect, Red Apricot, has stepped out of the wall, or that another skilled alchemist has come from somewhere and is rumored to be taking the alchemy order. Watching a well-dressed and elegant cultivator discussing these things, L. V. Zhong couldn't help but feel a sense of absurdity. But he had to admit that this was the current situation of the lower-level cultivators. They have no endless pills to refine, no troubles to deal with, and no need to rush to explore various secret realms. All they have is a peaceful life day after day, year after year. In a dull life, there is a hint of boredom. After listening for a while, L. V. Zhong didn't waste any more time and continued walking towards the street. On the road, there were also some elderly people with gray hair, hunched over and picking up things on the ground. Or a pair of runes that have been discarded due to quality issues, or crooked melons and rotten vegetables that cannot be sold and are forced to be thrown away, or other fragmented items with little value. These things that others don't want are treasures in their eyes. After some tinkering, we can probably sell it for some money. L. V. Zhong walked through these elderly people picking garbage and arrived at the center of the street. The people who set up stalls here disappeared, replaced by well-decorated shops filled with various products. Qing Lu Market is not very large, so the number of shops on the street is not many, and the types are quite complete. There are magic courts specializing in selling martial arts and spells, as well as revival halls selling various types of pills. But the most common ones are still stores that purchase various raw materials, as well as finished and semi-finished products. The largest one is opened by Qingyang Gate. The fee for appraisal is expensive, but the reputation is relatively guaranteed. 
There are also shops opened by other small families or chambers of commerce, and there are discounts on the fees for each appraisal. However, the price is often even more ruthless than Qingyang Gate, and sometimes there are rumors of deception. The cultivators in Qinglu village also have no choice. There is only one place nearby where they can sell things. Although the price of Yenling Mountain Market in the north is reasonable, the nearly thousand-mile mountain road is not so easy to walk. Even if they accidentally bring people and goods, they will be swallowed up by the robbing and evil cultivators. Therefore, they can only reluctantly endure this exploitation and sell their things to the small and large unscrupulous merchants in Qinglu village. At this moment, there are often monks coming and going in and out of the shops of all sizes that are open for business, but they are all those who have money and can afford to wear magic clothes. LV Zhong looked at it with envy in his heart, not daring to come up with any fresh ideas. Hurriedly passing by, he unconsciously arrived at the street, which was connected to a small riverside pier. Several old and new fishing boats were moored on the wooden wharf, and people were repairing fishing nets on the shore. When the wind blows, there is a strong fishy smell. L.V. Zhong looked for a while and found that their way of fishing can only be said to be primitive. Fishing nets are all made of coarse cloth and hemp, which are tied and rolled up to make them. Although this greatly improves the efficiency of fishing, compared to the various fishing tools in his memory, it is still somewhat lacking. He couldn't help but think to himself, why don't he also become a fisherman? But this idea was quickly extinguished by L.V. Zhong. Being in a world of the jungle and strict hierarchy, only strength and cultivation are the foundation of self.protection. Even if a fisherman can earn a little money for a while, he will take everything away later because he is envied by others. But following the path of a talisman maker is different, as the ability to make talismans cannot be taken away by others. With this in mind, L.V. Zhongjian decided to pursue the path of making talismans. What surprised him was that there was a luxurious old man dressed as a steward on the dock, anxiously waiting with a team of servants. Seeing this person constantly pacing in place, he felt extremely anxious. At this moment, a flat boat quickly swayed in the distance. Here, here. Someone among the servants exclaimed with joy. The old man looked up and was immediately overjoyed. Not long after, the fishing boat had docked and a skinny man jumped off it. Before he could speak, he was held up by an elderly man with a nervous expression and asked, Where's the fish? Didn't you? Catch the fish again this time. The skinny man chuckled and pointed to the live fish compartment on the ship, then arched his hand and said with a smile, You didn't disappoint manager Lee's expectations. This time, Yen Lu ambushed for a full three days, and finally caught another peach blossom mandarin fish. As he spoke, he carefully lifted the live fish compartment on the deck, separated by a layer of hemp rope fishing net. In the lower compartment, there was a fish with peach blossom patterns on its tail, and the pink colored fish was bouncing around. This is the peach blossom mandarin fish, a fish that is not a spirit fish, but has exceptionally delicious meat. The old man, known as Manager Lee, finally had a happy expression on his nervous face when he saw it. Okay, okay. It seems I didn't misjudge anyone. Remember to go to Jiang Wei Pavilion to receive the reward later. Thank you, Manager Lee. The skinny man's expression also became excited upon hearing these words. Jiang Wei Pavilion is a first-class restaurant and restaurant in Qin Lu Market. Every time they make a move, they are very generous, just like this peach blossom mandarin fish weighing only three or two pounds. Although it is not a spiritual fish, the reward given by the other party is not low at all. Three spiritual stones are worth the income of an ordinary year of casual cultivation. I've made a lot of money, now I can go to Ichuan Courtyard again. Yen Lu couldn't help but feel a surge of excitement as he thought of the little lady inside who was so seductive that she didn't even notice when Manager Li had left. At this moment, a sound startled him out of his beautiful dream. This Taoist friend, may I ask you something, said a young man wearing a linen Taoist robe with a slightly reserved expression. 
Yen Lu glanced at the young man, who was in a good mood and did not refuse as he used to. Instead, he moved his index and ring fingers, expressing his intention very straightforwardly. Since you want to ask, let's give the money first. LV Zhongli deliberately understood and smiled, handing out a clean talisman with both hands. On the way, seeing that the other person's expression was not correct, he quickly took out another one from his arms, totaling two cleansing talismans. At this moment, he felt so heartbroken that he was dripping blood. Taking two cleaning talismans, Yen Lu smashed his mouth and was not satisfied with it. But who said he was in a good mood today? Yen Lu slapped one of the cleaning talismans on his body, dispelling the strong and pungent fishy smell. While tidying up his wrinkled clothes, he lazily said, Speak up, what do you want to ask? LV Zhongman smiled and tried his best to leave a good impression on the other party. I don't know if you are willing to inform me, where was the peach blossom mandarin fish caught just now? His heart also tugged as he spoke these words. Because I was too nervous, even my smile froze on my face. If he could really find out the source of the peach blossom mandarin fish, LV Zhong believed he had a way to catch the fish. Upon hearing this, Yen Lu slapped another cleansing talisman on his body, and a faint spiritual light covered his entire body. The remaining dirt and fishy smell were all dispersed by the spiritual light. He immediately smiled again and looked up and down at LV Zhong. Di Hua Zhou, if you have the ability, you can go. End of this chapter. Chapter 5 Preliminary Fishing Trial You are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 5 Preliminary Fishing Trial Duwazu, located three miles north of Qinglu village, is an island in the heart of the Li River. This place is not very fertile in soil, but there are large areas of grass flowers growing, so it can be considered a beautiful scene in autumn when the grass flowers are in full bloom, attracting a large number of tourists to watch every time. But now it's early spring, and all the silver grass flowers are seen but not flowers, so there aren't many people on Dihua Island. On this day, LV Zhong arrived here with a small boat that was about to sink. Although the small sampan was rotten, it was borrowed by him after a lot of effort. There was also a small pottery jar on the sampan, inside which there was a faint sound of splashing water. It was a secret weapon specially prepared by him. The pottery jars are filled with live bait, a small loach called the Dragon Whisker Loach, named after its slender snout that resembles the legendary Dragon Whiskers. The Peach Blossom Mandarin Fish likes to eat the Dragon Whiskered Loach, which was learned by LV Zhong through a cleaning talisman to the assistant chef of Jiangwei Pavilion. Every time they open the belly of the Peach Blossom Mandarin Fish, they can see the remains of this small loach, which shows how much it loves to eat. What he needs to do now is to rock the boat to a hidden reef above Dihua Island. LV Zhong also did not know where Yen Lu's peach blossom mandarin fish was caught in Dihua Island, but based on his years of fishing experience in his past life, this is the most likely place near Dihua Island to hide peach blossom mandarin fish, after all, the places where fish are hidden are traceable. Unexpectedly, I also lived like I used to hate the most. LU Zhong couldn't help but sigh, and then pushed the heavy anchor stone tied with hemp rope into the river, so that the small sampan could be fixed in the rapids. The decaying small sampan creaked, and the bow of the ship was slightly lowered by the hemp rope. The turbulent river washed over the hull, and the wooden boards were creaking everywhere, looking as if they were about to fall apart. Fortunately, it has finally been sustained. With a sigh of relief, LV Zhong took out a roll of fishing line with a silver shaky little hook on it. There is also a knot above the small hook, with a small stone tied to it, used as a temporary lead pendant. Take out a dragon whiskered loach from the pottery jar, wrap it in a piece of rotten cloth around its slippery body, and then hook the hook onto the loach's body. This way, the fishing team is considered complete. Next, it is the most important step. Taking a deep breath, he slowly released the fishing line in his hand. Without a suitable fishing rod, LV Zhong could only choose the hand line fishing method. A subtle sense of sinking came, and he knew that the bait had reached the bottom. 
Next is the waiting moment, waiting for the possible peach blossom mandarin fish to bite the bait actively. After waiting for an unknown amount of time, L.V. Zhong felt thirsty from the scorching sun, so he took off the bamboo tube tied around his waist and drank the cold water from the tube. Suddenly, his left hand wrapped around the fishing line tightened. The intense struggle immediately came along the fishing line, strangling L.V. Zhong's hand. Here we go. L.V. Zhong's eyes lit up and he quickly threw the bamboo tube in his hand, then began to reel in the thread. The fish that caught the hook was not big, but the pulling force was terrifying. He didn't know what fish he caught, but he was desperately pulling it out of the water, trying to pull it out quickly. If the fish were to burrow into the crevices of the reef, everything would be in vain. After a series of struggles, even his hands were strangled and bleeding, L.V. Zhong finally pulled the hooked fish out of the water. Wow! Unfortunately, it's a touch of silver white. L.V. Zhong's heart was filled with disappointment, but he still pulled the three or two pound fish onto the boat. The eyes of this fish are big and round, and the neck of the fish is clearly upturned, looking quite comical. Although it is not the target fish he wants to catch and there seems to be no spiritual energy overflowing from the fish body, it is still barely possible to use it for food, but it is unclear whether the fish meat is fishy or not, and whether there are many small thorns in the meat. Thread a grass rope through the fish's gills and tie it up to prevent it from forcefully jumping out of the boat. L.V. Zhong took out another dragon-whiskered loach and threaded it onto the fishing hook again. He behaved well this time and wrapped the piece of rotten cloth around his hand to avoid being strangled again. It was another long wait, and the fishing line was once again moving. It can be pulled, and the feel is surprisingly relaxed. Pulling it up, I found that it was actually the kind of strange fish just now. This is not even a few ounces, and at first glance, it is clear that it is a newly born baby fish. Who knows how it dares to swallow a finger-thick loach, nor is it afraid of choking itself to death. Rolling his eyes, L.V. Zhong took it off the fishing hook and threw it into the water with a backhand toss. Looking at the dragon-whiskered loach in the pottery jar again, there are not many left, only the last three. After muttering for a while, he hung the bait back on the hook and put it into the river water as before. But this time, shortly after the bait was lowered, a huge force immediately came from the fishing line. Even with a layer of tattered cloth, L.V. Zhong still felt a throbbing pain in his hands, and his fingertips quickly turned purple-black. Even so, he still hasn't given up. What fish, so powerful! L.V. Zhong gritted his teeth and tugged at the big fish in the water. At one point, they were evenly matched. The outcome of the game depends on whether L.V. Zhong can't hold on and let go first, or whether the fish below are exhausted and powerless to resist. As for the fishing line breaking. Will the fishing hook deform? Neither of these situations will occur. Fish line is woven from angry cows, and although this weed has the disadvantage of easy decay, its tensile strength is so strong when fresh that it is estimated that even a hundred pounds of big fish cannot be torn off. As for the fishing hook, it was exchanged by L.V. Zhong with that refined steel sword. Don't be fooled by its small and inconspicuous appearance, it is made from a shred of leftover material from a magical tool. The hook body is incredibly hard and has excellent toughness. The only possibility now is that the big fish, in its frantic struggle, will tear apart a portion of its flesh and blood, thus breaking free from the control of the hook. This is its only way to break free from the hook. After an unknown amount of time, L.V. Zhong's clothes were already soaked with sweat. The intense mermaid battle ultimately ended in his victory. The big fish that had lost its resistance turned white and surfaced on the water, but it turned out to be an unseen fish. L. Yu Zhongbin was dumbfounded and said in a daze, what kind of fish are these? Why are they even more strange than those two before? I saw a big fish with a belly turned over, about five feet long, covered in dark and dense scales. The patterns on its body did not look like fish, but rather similar to those of long snakes, including the fish head, which looked almost the same as the snake head. He wanted to cry without tears, 
but after spending most of his time, he actually pulled up such a fish. Seeing the distant sunset about to set on the mountaintop, L.V. Zhong, who had a low cultivation level, dared not continue to stay in the wilderness. According to various rumors in the community, this was when Xie Xiu came out to hunt. Quickly loosen the grass rope tied to the bow of the boat, and let the small sampan drift downstream towards Qinglu village. During the day, those evil cultivators dare not approach the vicinity of the market, but with the cover of night, they may not. He has been fishing here for so long, perhaps he has already been targeted by some evil cultivator. For safety reasons, it's better to slide quickly. Hurry and hurry all the way, and by the time L.V. Zhong rode back to Qinglu village, it was already the beginning of the colorful lanterns. He parked the small sampan on the shore, wrapped the big fish in cloth, and carried it towards the Jiangwei Pavilion. Although Jiangwei Pavilion may not accept it, taking a chance is also good. What if it's accepted? End of this chapter Chapter 6 Jiangwei Pavilion You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 6 Jiangwei Pavilion Before L.V. Zhong could reach the Jiangwei Pavilion, he could already smell the aroma of wine and meat emanating from inside. As the most upscale restaurant in a hundred-mile radius, Jiangwei Pavilion has always been the best choice for Qinglu village cultivators to invite friends and entertain guests. There are many famous dishes inside, and it can also provide stable spiritual food made liquor and dishes. Spiritual food, as the name suggests, is food that possesses spiritual energy. For example, Ling Mi, Ling Ji, Ling Duck, Ling Fish, Ling Pig, and so on the way for cultivators to increase their cultivation is not only through meditation and asceticism to absorb spiritual energy, but also by taking some spiritual items to increase spiritual power. Compared to the accumulation of erysipelas caused by taking elixirs, those who drink spirit wine are unconscious all day long. Enjoying spiritual food can not only enhance their cultivation, but also serve as a way to adjust their dull and spiritual life. The spiritual food carefully cooked by the hands of a spiritual chef has almost no side effects. At the same time, the efficacy of the ingredients themselves will be blended to the extreme, and eating them will be very beneficial for the cultivator. Many monks who are trapped in the bottleneck period, when unable to break through with their own strength, will grit their teeth and take out a spirit stone to eat a meal of spiritual rice, vegetables, and wine full of spiritual energy, hoping to use this to break through the bottleneck. However, before Lu Zhong could reach the Jiangwei Pavilion, he was already stopped by someone. Three figures walked out from the sidelines, one behind the other. Led by them was a big man in a short silk shirt. His muscles were twisted and he looked like an iron tower, and his cultivation had reached the fourth level of qi refining. Zhao Yi Da Han was invited by Jiang Wei Gu as an offering, named Zhuo Wei Tai. His responsibility was to maintain the stability of this place. When he saw L.V. Zhong carrying a large tattered cloth bag, he naturally had an obligation to come out and inquire. Looking up and down at L.V. Zhong, I felt that this person wouldn't pose any threat. Wei Taikai spoke in a voice and said. Stop, what are you doing here? Upon hearing this, L.V. Zhong quickly smiled and said, I just caught a big fish and want to sell it to a prestigious restaurant. Speaking, he also peeled off a corner of the rotten cloth, revealing the strange fish head inside. Upon seeing the strange fish head, Wei Tai couldn't help feeling a little curious, but when he realized that there was no spiritual energy on the fish, he immediately lost half of his interest. For him who is devoted to cultivation, everything without spiritual energy is no different from dust. Walk, walk, don't you think it's okay to bring the spirit fish over? Upon hearing these words, L.V. Zhong couldn't help feeling disappointed, but he just came over to try his luck. At present, I can't even enter the Jiangwei Pavilion, so there's no way to start selling fish. At this moment, a familiar voice rang out from behind him. Wait a moment, Taoist friend. L.V. Zhong turned his head and found that it was the stewardly whom he had seen yesterday. The position of manager can vary in size. He didn't know how powerful Manager Li was, 
but since the other party stopped him, why wait a little longer? With a sound of footsteps approaching, Manager Li politely arched his hand at LV Zhong before saying, Friend, can I take a look at your fish? Seeing LV Zhong nod, he rudely lifted the layer of tattered cloth. Well, it's a rare snake fish, Manager Li muttered to himself with an expression that couldn't be said to be satisfied. Although it's just an ordinary fish, it can grow up to five feet in length, which is a bit strange. I think the meat will become even tighter because of this. Li, also known as Li Yuan, is a steward of Jiangwei Pavilion. Recently, he finally managed to climb up to a nobleman who never tire of delicacies and delicacies, making him an excellent river freshman. The peach blossom mandarin fish from yesterday was highly praised by the esteemed person after tasting it. Everything must be done while the iron is hot, and Li Yuan Ben was still worried about how to continue to please. Unexpectedly, another strange fish came to his door right now. This snake pattern fish is only found in the Li River. Although it is not a spiritual fish, its rarity is not inferior to that of the peach blossom mandarin fish. Especially for such a huge individual, it is even rarer. Sometimes, eating is not the most flavorful, trying something fresh is also good. With this in mind, Li Yuan decided to take the snake pattern fish and said to LV Zhong, the Fish River Flavor Pavilion has taken it. As for the fish money, I'll give you fifty talismans of money. Would you like it? Fifty talismans. LV Zhong was stunned for a moment, and suddenly nodded excitedly like pounding garlic. He didn't expect that even a mere ordinary fish could be sold at such a high price. Fifty talismans cost quite a bit, and normally, at least 20.5 clean talismans need to be sold to make a profit. But now, you can get it by selling one fish. Given this, there is no reason not to agree. Soon, both the money and the goods will be received. Holding the fifty talismans, LV Zhong felt as if he had drunk honey water, feeling sweet in his heart. Not long after walking out of Jiangwei Pavilion, he heard a sound of selling in the distance. Selling spiritual rice, selling spiritual rice. A cart slowly pushed towards the end of the street, with a large wooden barrel on it. At this moment, warm white air still emitted, and a unique fragrance of lingmi also emanated from inside. The seller of the meal was an old man with white temples. He was dressed in linen clothes, washed white but very clean. The old man's cultivation, like LV Zhong's, is also a layer of refining qi. If nothing unexpected happens, I believe the old man has a five-spirit root aptitude. Seeing LV Zhong, the old man stopped the car and chuckled, Do you want to taste my spiritual rice? It's not expensive, it's just a token of money and a bowl. A talisman of money. LV Zhong felt somewhat incredulous. The price of lingmi is not cheap, even the worst Qinghe lingmi costs at least 10 yuan per kilogram. In terms of conversion, it is impossible for a bowl of ling rice to be sold for only one token of money. As if sensing the doubt on LV Zhong's face, the old man explained with a smile, I mixed half of the plain rice in this Qinghe ling rice, and it was only at a price that it could be reduced to one cent coupled with the skills I learned in the Jiangwei kitchen before, this rice can barely be considered a spiritual food. Upon hearing his explanation, LV Zhong couldn't help but become interested. He took out a talisman paper from his pocket and handed it to the old man, chuckling softly, give me a bowl. All right. The old man frowned and smiled as he collected the money. He immediately lifted the lid of the wooden bucket, revealing one big, two small, and three wooden buckets inside. He first took out a clean wooden bowl from a white cloth bag, then used a wooden spoon to scoop out a spoonful of light green rice from a slightly larger wooden barrel. He also added the side dishes from two small wooden barrels, namely stir-fried plums, preserved pork, and pickled radish, which were clearly crispy and crispy. After receiving this bowl of rice, LV Zhongguang drooled uncontrollably at the smell. Taking a bite of rice, he immediately widened his eyes. Delicious. It's both chewy and chewy, as well as mellow and slightly sweet. 
Previously, L.V. Zhong had heard that this Qinghe Ling meat tasted similar to grass seeds, rough and hard to swallow. If it doesn't contain spiritual energy, probably no one will eat this kind of thing. Unexpectedly, after the old man made Qinghe Ling meat into spiritual food with his learned skills, the taste of Ling meat changed so much. Transforming decay into magic, it is not without reason that spiritual kitchens can enter the realm of cultivation. L.V. Zhong felt that just by eating this rice, he could have a full belly. When this spiritual rice is paired with two excellent side dishes, the taste is even more remarkable, truly a skill learned by Jiang Weiga. L.V. Zhong finished a bowl of rice directly, showing an expression of still wanting. I was thinking of buying another bowl, but I still held back. It is not easy to make money at the moment. If he cannot meet the rent by the end of the month, he will be driven out of Qinglu village and become a destitute cultivator with no one to rely on. At that time, his situation will be even more miserable than now. With an embarrassed smile, L.V. Zhong returned the bowls and chopsticks. Continuing towards his rudimentary little nest, but just a few steps away, he patted his head in frustration. My brain, I forgot to take that fish. Quickly turned back to the small boat at the dock, but fortunately no one found the fish in the fishing compartment. Strolling back, preparing to cook a pot of fresh fish soup. Thank you very much for the reward from Demon Master Kuenpeng. End of this chapter Chapter 7 The Chaos of Demonic Cultivation You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 7 The Chaos of Demonic Cultivation The fish soup is delicious and makes people feel good. In order not to waste the spiritual rice he had eaten, he sat cross-legged on the bed and started breathing and breathing. Undoubtedly worthy of the name of Lingmi, there are many benefits to eating Qinghe Lingmi. Even with the use of breathing and breathing techniques, L.V. Zhong's cultivation has significantly increased. One small Sunday after another, before he could reach the maximum number of times he could practice his martial arts today, the spiritual energy contained in the spiritual rice had already been completely consumed, and he had no choice but to absorb the surrounding spiritual energy. Without comparison, there is no gap. Without the spiritual energy of spiritual food, L.V. Zhong's cultivation speed suddenly slowed to an extreme point. After a full ten small weeks, he could only match the one small week of refining spiritual rice spiritual energy before. It can be seen from this that spiritual food plays a significant role. Alas, this basic skill is a big problem. When the rent is raised, you must save money to buy a suitable basic skill. Otherwise, just practicing this breathing and breathing technique will never allow me to break through to the second level of qi refining in my lifetime. At the thought of this, L.V. Zhong's face immediately froze again. The value of basic martial arts is not insignificant, and they are all priced with spirit stones. Even the worst street art can be sold for dozens of spiritual stones. With so many spirit stones, he doesn't know how many clean talismans he needs to sell. Shaking his head, L.V. Zhong covered himself with a sun-drenched blanket and prepared to go to Duwazu again tomorrow. Anyway, you must catch the peach blossom mandarin fish. Before he can obtain stable income from making symbols, he can only try to get some starting funds first. The next day, L.V. Zhong was awakened by a knock on the door. Rubbing his sleepy eyes, he opened the door and saw a fat man dressed as a clerk standing outside. This fat man is dressed in gold and jade, with a smell of nouveau riche on his body. This person is known by L.V. Zhong, named Wang Dutsai. He was originally a local wealthy man in a rural area, but he somehow obtained a fragmented book of martial arts techniques from somewhere. Even though he was half confused and half guessed, he successfully infused qi into his body. I had previously competed with L.V. Zhong for the rental qualification of a small dilapidated house, but in the end, I was defeated due to insufficient spiritual stones. L.V. Zhong was originally in a good mood, but when he saw this fat man Wang Dutsai, he felt as if he had eaten a fly and said coldly, why knock on my door? I don't know if this house has already been rented by me. I know, of course I know. 
Wang Datsai's greasy face lit up with a nauseating smile, revealing his big golden teeth. He smiled and said, I heard you're almost unable to afford the house. Upon hearing this, LV Zhong thought that the fat man was specifically here to disgust himself. With a snap, he closed the door directly. People like this, the more you understand them, the more motivated they become. So LV Zhong didn't bother to pay attention to Wang Datsai, so as not to ruin his mood for the whole day. Taking out clean willow branches, he began to wash up. After finishing organizing, LV Zhong pushed open the door again and found that Wang Datsai was still at the door. Wait a moment, Taoist friend. If you have something to say, please speak carefully. Wang Datsai may have noticed that his tone of voice was incorrect, and he had already put on a pleasing expression. Although it looks quite disgusting, especially when paired with those big golden teeth. At this moment, LV Zhong was also curious about why the other party was so shameless and refused to leave even after being turned off. So he glared at the chubby guy impatiently and said, What's going on? He he, it's like this, why don't we discuss it? If I move in and live with you, I'll be at a loss for the rent, brother. I'll help you pay 30%. 20%. Wang Datsai said, showing a painful expression. His appearance fully showcases the stinginess of the landlord's wealth. L. Yu Zhong was so angry that he almost laughed. Not to mention the dilapidated and old small house, he couldn't tolerate Wang Datsai, a big fat pig. Taking the 20% shared rent as an example, he was actually willing to bring it up. Look at him like that, he's even more uncomfortable than cutting flesh. L. V. Zhong knew that he had come across a truly top dot notch product. Dirty words and obscenities in the heart rumble past, and finally converge into a word of essence. Get lost. As soon as he said this, his thoughts immediately became clear and he felt a wave of relief. L. V. Zhong didn't care how Wang Detsai reacted and locked the door on his own. Let's go fishing. When he bought about ten loaches with dragon whiskers, L.V. Zhong passed by the street with a pottery jar and noticed many cultivators discussing something at the corner. Seeing their expressions clearly off, he was afraid that something big might happen. Upon hearing it, I realized that the wilderness has not been peaceful lately, and a group of ferocious and evil cultivators have emerged. In just three or two months, seven people had already lost their lives in their hands. It is said that the leader of the evil cultivators is also a master who has reached the later stage of qi refining. In the later stage of qi refining, he was also considered a prominent figure in Qinglu village, capable of supporting a luxurious life of three wives and four concubines, as well as a group of servants. As long as you don't seek that elusive longevity, there will be at least a hundred years of prosperity. With such a high cultivation level, this person actually chose to become an evil cultivator by falling grass. I heard that the leader seems to be a demon cultivator. Someone glanced left and right and whispered. Ah, demon. Upon hearing these words, one person exclaimed in surprise, but was promptly covered by the person next to them. Misfortune comes from the mouth, Taoist brother, you should be careful. The person nodded hesitantly and couldn't help but say, the demonic cultivation in the later stage of qi refining will cause chaos outside. It seems that the next days in Qinglu village may not be peaceful. When others heard this, they all became melancholic. Demon cultivation ravages one side, often causing endless harm. Even if they are quickly killed by the experts of the sect, the techniques passed down will still be poisonous and will inevitably give birth to batches of demonic cultivators who have been tempted and corrupted. Without a period of brutal eradication, it is extremely difficult to eradicate the influence of demonic cultivators. Upon hearing this news, L.V. Zhong's heart was immediately cast with a shadow. But what about this? It's going to rain, and he also has to make up for the rent. Recalling the incident with Wang Datsai, L.V. Zhong speculated that the reason why this person was eager to find a residence was likely related to this matter. Since the demon cultivation is about to ravage, he cannot be driven out of Qinglu village. 
Otherwise, it is uncertain which day one will become a member of the Demon Cultivation Soul Refining Banner. No, I must try again before the demonic cultivation ravages here. LV Zhongxi thought about it and decided to go to Duwazu to see if he could catch the peach blossom mandarin fish. Otherwise, even if one lives in Qinglu village, they will still be driven away on the day of rent due to the lack of spirit stones. Waiting to be driven into the wilderness is the true despair. Quickly walking to the dock, LV Zhong untied the boat rope, scooped out the water that had seeped in from the gap in the boat board, and immediately shook his oars and headed towards Dihua Island. Returning to the previous location, he followed suit and started fishing again. In no time, the fishing line began to move. LV Zhong, who had been nervously looking around, pulled him up and almost couldn't believe his own eyes. The pink fish body and extremely special peach blossom patterns, peach. Peach blossom mandarin fish. He showed an incredulous expression on his face, not expecting to catch the peach blossom mandarin fish as soon as he arrived. A peach blossom mandarin fish is a reward for three spirit stones in Jiangwei Pavilion. LV Zhong hurriedly put the peach blossom mandarin fish into the fish compartment, wrapping it in a piece of rotten cloth during the process, afraid of accidentally damaging its scales and affecting its appearance. With a thump in his heart, he put the bait into the water again. But this time, even before the bait bottomed out, there was a burst of inductance coming in. Here we go again. LV Zhong's heart suddenly rose to his throat. Pulling the fishing line up wildly, it turned out to be another peach blossom mandarin fish. And this one is even larger than the previous one, at least weighing five pounds. The bigger the fish, the more valuable it is. How much spirit stone can a five-pound peach blossom mandarin fish exchange for? LV Zhong was so excited that he couldn't help but quickly remove the hook from the big fish's mouth and carefully put it into the fish compartment. There is one or two, and there must be a nest of mandarin fish below. To LV Zhong now, there are still some peach blossom mandarin fish here, clearly just floating spirit stones. With agile movements, he lowered the bait again. This time, there was no electric shock, but the fishing line quickly tightened. If there were not obvious pulling force coming along the fishing line, LV Zhong would have thought it was hanging on a reef. Did the giant object take the bait? His heart suddenly tightened and he quickly began to tug at the thread. But the more I pull, the more I feel something is wrong. When he pulled the hook onto the surface of the water, LV Zhong was shocked to find that what he had pulled up was not a fish at all. It's a corpse. End of this chapter. Chapter 8 Touching the Corpse You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 8 Touching the Corpse The body was burnt black, especially the face was unbearable. Even after leaving the water surface, there was still a black aura emanating, and it was clear at a glance that he had been killed by the magic technique. I had intended to let it sink back into the water, but LV Zhong saw a small golden pouch on the waist of the corpse, and his gaze couldn't move away anymore. Is it? A guess flashed through his heart, if it was true, he would be making a fortune. LV Zhong quickly tightened the fishing line. At this moment, the body was floating and sinking under the intense erosion of the river. If the golden silk bag was washed away by the water, it would be too late to regret, so he thought of retrieving the body. The body soaked in water was heavy and lifeless, and it took LV Zhong some effort to drag it onto the ship. His heart was about to jump to his throat, and he trembled as he pulled off the golden pouch and poured a hint of spiritual power into it. Immediately, the golden silk bag had a reaction. Storage bag, it's indeed a storage bag. L. Yu Zhong didn't expect such a precious thing to fall into his own hands. He didn't know the reason why storage bags were expensive, but the selling price in the King Liuxu store was clear. List price, at least starting with three spirit stones. Suddenly obtaining such an expensive item, L. V. Zhong was so excited that he couldn't even hold on to the small golden bag. After a while, I calmed down a bit and didn't care about the wet storage bag. I immediately put it in the bag of my close-fitting clothes. 
Then, filled with anticipation, he touched the corpse again. Unfortunately, apart from a bottle of swollen pill soaked in water, there was no other gain. I'm sorry, it seems we can't let you settle down anymore. Seeing that there was no other gain, L.V. Zhong noted the characteristics of the clothing worn by the corpse and pushed it back into the river. I didn't forget to carefully wash the ship's planks with river water, and also treated any possible residual breath on my body. For the sake of one's own life, no matter how cautious it is, it is not an exaggeration. If there is a cleaning symbol now, take three or two photos of anything you say. Then, he gave up his plan to continue fishing. After fishing for a corpse that had been killed by the magic technique, L.V. Zhongming knew that there must still be a nest of peach blossom mandarin fish, but he dared not continue fishing. He quickly shook his oars and rushed towards Qinglu village. The oars swung so fast that they returned to the dock in just fifteen minutes. Without stopping, L.V. Zhong returned with two tails of peach blossoms and hurriedly ran towards the Jianwei Pavilion. In a small tea shed next to Jianwei Pavilion, Wei Tai is drinking tea with two subordinates here. At this moment, his mood is not good, partly because he was scolded by Manager Li yesterday, and also because of a news that came this morning. If this news is true, then his hard-earned gain will become a deadly news. In the corner of his eye, he caught a glimpse of a running figure. Wei Tai looked at it and felt somewhat familiar. It was only after thinking about it that he remembered it was the young man who had scolded him for causing harm yesterday. He immediately wanted to vent his accumulated anger on him. However, Wei Tai did not immediately raise a question, but decided to take a look before making a decision. After all, Manager Li has instructed that if this person brings any good catch, he should be notified as soon as possible. As he got closer, Wei Tai's face suddenly turned ugly. Peach Blossom Mandarin fish, surprisingly, still have two tails. He knew that he couldn't touch this young man today no matter what. On the contrary, we have to greet each other with a smile on our faces. The more Wei Tai thought about it, the more depressed he felt. Unfortunately, he had to keep the fire under pressure, and it was so uncomfortable at this moment. Captain, it's a good offer. I was lucky enough to catch two peach blossom mandarin fish. Could you please inform Manager Li on my behalf? L.V. Zhong ran panting as he carried the two fresh peach blossom mandarin fish. Wei Tai looked at the two peach blossom mandarin fish and forced out a smile, saying, No need, Manager Li has explained that if you have any more catch, you can directly take it to the kitchen to receive the reward. In no time, the fish in L.V. Zhong's hand was replaced with a spirit stone. Jian Weiga was also grand, and surprisingly gave him seven spirit stones. Seven spirit stones, L.V. Zhong didn't even know how many clean talismans he had to sell in order to earn such a huge sum of money. With this spiritual stone, he finally has the starting capital. Taking a deep breath, he repeatedly thanked the accountant who gave the money before leaving Jiang Wei Pavilion. With money, L.V. Zhong walked like a tiger in a wind. Even those shops displaying expensive goods, he dares to take a serious look. However, L.V. Zhong did not immediately go to spend a lot of money, but prepared to go home first. I don't know what's in the storage bag, I hope there's a big harvest. With this feeling in mind, he quickened his pace and walked towards the direction of the small dilapidated house. When passing by a medical clinic, I happened to see a corpse covered in white cloth being carried out. A woman next to her was crying uncontrollably while holding a baby girl in swaddling clothes, which caused sighs from passers-by. Ah, another one who was taken away by the demon cultivator. The demonic cultivator who suffered a thousand swords has lost the pillar of her family, and Xiao Yang is probably. The person didn't continue, but L.V. Zhong knew what he meant. This woman was afraid to be taken out of her household. If she were a good cultivator herself, but now it seems that she is just a mortal. Faced with the hungry wolves surrounding her, with her mother and daughter alone, she is afraid that she will be driven out of Qinglu village in less than three days. With a sigh, L.V. Zhong, who was powerless, continued to move forward. Through this incident, 
he also saw a lot. On the surface, Qinlu village may seem calm, but in those corners where the sunlight is not shining, there are probably many things that cannot be seen. That is to say, LV Zhong was poor and had no oil or water to extract from his body. Otherwise, various prying gazes would fall on him. LV Zhong immediately felt a sense of urgency and wished to elevate his cultivation to a higher level. Quickly returned to the dilapidated house. In the kitchen, which was out of sight from outside, LV Zhong took out the small golden bag. As it was already an ownerless object, he easily opened the small bag. A faint sense of divine consciousness peeked inside and found a storage bag half the size of a square. Immediately after pouring the bag downwards, three things were poured out. These things look very small in the bag, but as soon as they are poured out, they return to their original size. A small medicine bottle made of sapphire, a piece of intricately patterned rune paper, a beautifully bound booklet. These are all the things in the storage bag. The blue jade medicine bottle was corked and contained a green and eerie pill, which had a foul smell and didn't look like a good thing. LV Jonka didn't dare to touch it, so he had to reseal it and put it aside. That talisman paper is easy to distinguish, and at a glance, it is a type of fireball talisman. He didn't know exactly which one it was, but he thought the power of this first.order intermediate level fireball talisman wouldn't be too bad. In this way, it can also be considered as a trump card. When he picked up the booklet, LV Zhong's face immediately changed and he murmured. Qingyang Yu Xian Gong, how could it be this skill? Thank you for giving me a reward for my love of watermelon. End of this chapter. Chapter 9 Basic Skills You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 9 Basic Skills Looking at the technique in his hand, LV Zhong's expression was uncertain. This book, Qinyang Yu Xian Gong, is immediately known to be a technique of the Qinyang sect. So, the charred corpse he picked up is highly likely to be a disciple of Qinyang's sect who was harmed by demonic cultivation. There is a well-known taboo in Qinglu village, which is to never practice Qinyang sect martial arts without permission. All casual cultivators who practice without permission will have no good outcome, and one or two will be detained by Qinyang sect law enforcement cultivators without any news. LV Zhong dare not take this risk, after all, once practicing the Qingyang Yu Xiangong secretly, there will be traces exposed. At that time, once reported, everything will be suspended. In this way, the things I have obtained cannot be exposed, otherwise they will easily attract the attention of Qingyang sect. It's not a big deal if the things are taken back. If I were to be treated as a demon cultivation accomplice, then... Thinking of this, LV Zhong sighed and decided to hide the storage bag first, waiting for the wind to pass before making a decision. After taking a few sips of cold water, he calmed down slightly and touched the seven spirit stones in his pocket. He couldn't help but take out one of them and carefully examined it in his palm. Lingshir, as the name suggests, is a crystal containing spiritual energy. According to the recognized theory in the realm of cultivation, it is formed by the precipitation of spiritual energy in naturally formed crystals, often appearing in the form of mineral veins. According to the different quantities of spiritual energy contained, spirit stones can be divided into four levels. Inferior to ultimate. According to the customary practice in the realm of cultivation, spirit stones generally refer to lower grade spirit stones, and only medium grade and above spirit stones are intentionally added with grade affixes. For cultivators, spirit stones are a stable and reliable source of spiritual energy, often used as energy sources. Due to being a natural mineral, spirit stones are not suitable for direct absorption. The usage method is basically through the transformation of the spirit gathering array, and the pure spiritual energy produced by the transformation is suitable for cultivation by cultivators for personal use. If encountering an emergency situation, it can be used for emergency recovery, but it is necessary to practice hard afterwards to completely remove impurities absorbed into the body, so as not to have adverse effects on future cultivation. In the dim cabin, 
the spirit stone in L. V. Zhong's hand was emitting a faint light. Well, how should we use this money? The rent is about to be paid, so a spirit stone cannot be moved. In order to plan for next month, we need to prepare another spirit stone. We can't stop making talismans, at least by a sword talisman paper to continue practicing. This way, we still have four spirit stones left, so we can buy a basic skill book. Thinking of the basic techniques, his eyes lit up. Yes, just use it to buy basic techniques. Without further thought, L. V. Zhong immediately pushed the door and walked towards the Shufa pavilion. Today is not the day when the market opens, and there are no monks entering or leaving the Shufa pavilion. When L. V. Zhong lifted his leg and stepped in, he found that the informant who usually sees people through his nostrils was missing. Instead, he was replaced by a middle dot aged man with a green beard wearing an apricot colored robe, who carried a strong scholarly aura and had reached the middle stage of qi refining. It seems that this person is taking inventory. Upon hearing someone enter, the middle dot aged man put down his account book and raised his head with a soft smile, saying, I am Qin Qing Shu, the steward of the martial arts pavilion. I wonder if your esteemed guest is coming to purchase the martial arts, or are you planning to choose a shared martial arts technique? Without hesitation, L. V. Zhong arched his hand and replied, Could you please ask manager Qin to choose a basic martial art for me? Well, no problem, I wonder how your spiritual roots are. Qin Qing Shu nodded and asked. The choice of cultivation methods requires attention. If you choose well, you will get twice the result with half the effort. If you choose wrong, you will get twice the result with half the effort. Regardless of the selection, the prerequisite is that it must meet the spiritual root attributes of the cultivator themselves. Otherwise, even if it is the heavenly spirit root, it will still achieve nothing. After learning about the four spiritual roots of L. V. Zhong, Qin Qing Shu gently rubbed his temples and closed his eyes, thinking about it. After a while, he clapped his hands and said, I have already thought of several suitable martial arts for my fellow Taoist. Could you please wait for a while? I will go and retrieve the martial arts. He left in just half a quarter of an hour. When Qin Qing Shu returned, he was already holding a stack of books in his hand. All right, that's all. Qin Qing Shu placed a thick stack of basic martial arts on the counter, then looked at LV Zhong and said, You may not be clear about these martial arts. If not, let me introduce them to you. How about that? LV Zhong felt it was necessary, after all, he was indeed a casual cultivator without a mentor. Although all the martial arts sold in the Shufa pavilion are ordinary skills, it is not a reason to randomly choose one. Thinking of this, he nodded. Qin Qing Shu saw it and smiled slightly picking up a book of basic techniques. Xiao Si Xiang Gong Qi Refining Chapter, a rare four-attribute technique priced at 120 spirit stones. Although Dao Yu lacks the golden spirit root, it is not impossible to cultivate. After practicing this skill, it can stimulate the four symbols true qi, and different attributes of true qi have their own wonderful effects. Among them, the green dragon's true qi belongs to wood, which can nourish the body. The white tiger's true qi belongs to the golden palm's killing and slaying, and pouring it into the magical tool is very beneficial for fighting skills. The vermilion bird's true qi belongs to fire, and using its fire-type magic will have a certain gain. As for the Xuanwu's true qi, it is also wonderful, and adding it to defense tools can make it more sturdy. Seeing that L. V. Zhong had not spoken, the Qin steward put down the little four symbols technique and picked up a basic technique. Waterwood Sword Technique Qi Refining Chapter, Dual Attribute Cultivation Method, priced at 100 spirit stones. This method is a swordsmanship technique that can greatly enhance one's strength just by entering the beginner's level. However, the subsequent cultivation process is extremely difficult, and it cannot be achieved unless one is mentally firm as a rock. Fortunately, after practicing three levels, one can unleash the sword's edge to harm the enemy. Although the sword's edge power depends on one specific cultivation level, it is still a good technique. 
Upon hearing this introduction, L.V. Zhong also felt a bit tempted, but decided to finish listening before speaking. On the other hand, Manager Qin picked up another book of basic martial arts techniques. Rong Qi Gong, a tribute-free technique, priced at 500 spirit stones. As the name suggests, this is a technique that integrates magical tools into oneself to enhance one's strength. As long as the more magical tools are integrated, the cultivator's strength will become stronger, ultimately reaching the invincible state of the qi refining stage. However, the drawbacks are also very obvious. Firstly, it is expensive, and then this technique only has the qi refining section without any subsequent techniques. As if knowing that LV Zhong would not choose Rong Qi Gong, Qin Guanxi picked up the last basic martial arts book. Water, Fire, Greenwood Technique, Qi Refining Chapter, Three Attribute Technique, priced at 250 spirit stones. The fusion of water and fire promotes the growth of green wood. Practicing this skill can bring a hint of green wood characteristics to one's spiritual power. The green wood characteristics have both advantages and disadvantages. The advantage is that it can feed back the cultivator's own cultivation speed, make the wooden spells use stronger, and make the wooden spells emit stronger power. The disadvantage is that when selecting the next stage of cultivation, it will be bound to the wooden spells. After the introduction, Manager Qin stopped speaking and waited for LV Zhong to make a choice. On LV Zhong's side, after listening to Manager Qin's introduction, he also breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. Perhaps due to the fact that it is a bad street technique and only includes the qi refining section of the technique, the prices of these basic techniques are not high. For LV Zhong, he couldn't afford the water fire greenwood technique, so he was the first to rule it out. Rong Qi Gong is also suitable for wealthy people, and it can be ruled out that it is not suitable for small casual cultivation like LV Zhong. The rest are the little four symbols technique and the water wood sword technique, which makes it a bit difficult to choose from. The true qi of the four symbols is infinitely useful, but unfortunately, LV Zhong lacks gold in the five elements. Although Qin Guanxi said he could also cultivate it, he probably needed to use skillful techniques. The sword sharpness of the water wood sword technique looks good, but it is an easy to learn but difficult to master swordsmanship technique. After hesitating for a while, LV Zhong made a difficult decision. I choose the water wood sword technique. Oh, Dao Yu's choice is really surprising. Qin Guanxi originally thought that LV Zhong would choose the little four symbols technique, but unexpectedly, the other party unexpectedly chose the water and wood sword technique. Thinking of the recent occurrence of the cultivation of demons, he suddenly felt that perhaps this would be a good choice. Taking a glance at LV Zhong, who was not wearing a robe, manager Qin said again, do you want to buy the whole piece? No. Separate, buy the first three layers first. LV Zhong had already inquired about it. The basic techniques of the Shufa Pavilion can be purchased separately, and if you only buy the first three layers, it is very cheap. You can buy a few spirit stones. Okay, the price for the first three layers of cultivation is three spirit stones. Manager Qin was concise and could sell a little bit, without any reason to refuse this deal. After handing over the spirit stone, LV Zhong successfully obtained the first three layers of the water and wood sword techniques qi refining technique. Just a reminder, remember not to pass on the martial arts to others, otherwise you will know, Qin, who had collected other martial arts manuals, warned without looking up. After hearing this, LV Zhong felt a chill in his heart and quickly nodded, I know. Hmm, do you want to choose a spell to use as a body aid? We have just received a batch of new products in the pavilion, all of which are good spells. According to tradition, Manager Qin recommends that customers who can afford basic skills usually want to buy a low-dot-level spell to use as a body aid. And low-dot-level spells are indeed cheap. End of this chapter Chapter 10 Rapid Progress You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Rapid Progress Upon hearing this, LV Zhong shook his head. If there are not enough spirit stones, 
by basic techniques. Regarding this, Manager Chin could only show a regretful smile. On the way back, he saw a monk selling talismans at a stall, and seeing that the quality of the talismans was also good, he stopped by and bought a knife. As he walked into the alley where the dilapidated house was located, L.V. Zhong suddenly remembered that he seemed to have forgotten to buy some food. Nowadays, he is no longer as financially strapped as before, and there is no need to eat any more rice. In addition, since we have already purchased basic techniques, it is time to buy some spiritual rice to assist in cultivation. Otherwise, relying solely on absorbing the spiritual energy of Qinglu village may not even reach the ninth level of qi refining before the age of 60. So L.V. Zhong turned around and walked to the rice shop on the street, spending a spirit stone to buy 10 pounds of Qinghe spirit rice. This type of lingmi is just not very delicious in taste, but it has a bit of spiritual energy that is just right for him, who is currently struggling. It's not too late to consider the taste of food when there are more spiritual stones in the future. Starting a fire and cooking, looking at his worn dot out and moldy little house, L.V. Zhong came up with the idea of repairing it. The small dilapidated house is nominally owned by the Qingyang Gate, so the repair of the house should be reported to the management disciple first, otherwise it will be charged with damaging the assets of the Qingyang Gate, and even if you don't die, you will be stripped of your skin. After such a skilled craftsmanship, even if ordinary bricks, stones, and wood were used, it would take a spirit stone to repair the small dilapidated house. This money is really not worth spending. L.V. Zhong sighed helplessly. Time flies by quickly, and in the blink of an eye, half a month has passed. After being repaired by craftsmen, the small dilapidated house did not have a completely new appearance, but at least it was no longer infested with insects and mold, and leaking rain and air has become a thing of the past. It can be called a normal residence. In terms of making talismans, L.V. Zhong is still practicing day and night. The proficiency in drawing clean talismans is also increasing, and the success rate of making talismans is also increasing rapidly, gradually increasing to 40%. Under normal circumstances, it usually takes two to three years for a novice talisman maker to achieve such a high success rate. Even with the guidance of a talisman maker, it takes at least six months to one year. The reason why L.V. Zhong was able to make such rapid progress is mainly due to the mysterious foggy space. And about this gray space where memories can be traced back, he has discovered a small trick. By comparing one's daily memory of making talismans with the memory of the bookseller drawing clean talismans, one can promptly correct any mistakes made during the process of making talismans, in order to achieve relatively accurate talismanship practice. This is equivalent to having a skilled talisman maker guiding every day. This is much happier than those novice talisman makers who are apprentices, after all, the guidance of talisman makers cannot be provided every day, and often requires a period of effort to please. They will only be willing to teach something real if they are satisfied with serving their master. It was precisely by discovering this wonderful use of the gray mist space that L.V. Zhong's progress was exceptionally rapid. A 40% success rate in creating clean talismans is sufficient for him to maintain his basic living needs, and in the eyes of outsiders, he can also be considered a qualified talisman maker. In the room illuminated by dim flames, L.V. Zhong looked at the empty rice jar and remembered that tomorrow was the day when the market opened again. He decided to sell the 30.2 newly drawn cleaning talismans and buy some spiritual rice to assist in cultivation. He didn't expect to develop the habit of eating spiritual rice for daily cultivation in just 12 days. It's unlikely that you want to eat the spiritual rice again. Thanks to the 10 pounds of green rice, L.V. Zhong has made significant progress in cultivation. The water wood sword technique is truly a basic skill that is easy to learn but difficult to refine. In less than half a month, his cultivation has increased significantly and his total spiritual power has gradually increased from being able to support 20 times of drawing a cleansing talisman per day to 30 times today. He had a premonition that as long as he continued to take spiritual rice for daily cultivation, he could break through to the second level of qi refining within six months. The next day. 
The sky was still a bit dim, so LV Zhong woke up early. After a wash, he went out with all the cleaning symbols he had drawn. Due to getting up early, LV Zhong found a good position. Not long after, he successfully sold five cleaning talismans, thinking it was a good start. Just as he took the token, LV Zhong touched it and suddenly realized something was wrong. Inputting spiritual power into it, I was immediately dumbfounded. What, fake talisman money? The production process of talisman paper is very complex, with over a hundred processes, in order to make the produced paper have spiritual conductivity properties, so that the finished product can be considered talisman paper. The five pieces of paper he is holding now are exactly the same as the rune paper. From the texture, they should be made of rune grass, but their aura transmission performance is almost non-existent. This type of paper cannot be used as rune paper, it can only be called yellow paper. LV Zhong suddenly became depressed, knowing that this was a scene of white joy. A scammer who has been beaten a thousand times, don't let me see you again. Fortunately, only five clean talismans were deceived, and the losses were not serious. The law enforcement team in Qinglu village is notorious for only recognizing money, and even reporting a case requires payment. It is impossible to expect them to find the fraudster. So he can only eat a pit and gain wisdom. It can also be considered as giving oneself a long memory. As the sun rises, the flow of people on the streets also increases. LV Zhong was pleasantly surprised to find that there were surprisingly many cultivators visiting Qing Lu Market today. The talismans he brought out for sale were particularly popular, almost selling as much as he took. With a movement in his heart, LV Zhong raised the price of the cleaning talisman to five talismans. However, even so, all cleaning symbols are still sold out. Upon careful calculation, Today is the day when 135 talismans of money are put into the bag. El Yuzhong, who couldn't help but be overjoyed, only found out when he asked the vendor next to him that today was the once.in.a.decade birthday of the founder of Qingyang. Yeah, how could I forget? He slapped his head before remembering that today was an extremely special day. No, I have to go to the street quickly, otherwise it won't be too late. The birthday of Master Qingyang is very important for the Qingyang sect, and it is also a good day for the scattered cultivators under their rule. According to the tradition over the years, the Qingyang sect holds preaching sessions in various places at this time. Qinglu village is no exception. At that time, there will be disciples of Qingyang sect appearing to impart their cultivation experience to the attending cultivators. They will also choose one or two lucky ones to answer their questions during cultivation. For a group of casual cultivators, this is equivalent to a great thing of pie falling from the sky. Because the disciples of the Qingyang sect who preach are at least in the later stage of qi refining, their cultivation experience is of great use for almost all scattered cultivators in the early stage of qi refining. Thinking of this, LV Zhong felt regretful in his heart. There was no regret medicine to take in the cultivation world, so he had to sprint hard in order to occupy a place in the preaching meeting. By the time we arrived on the street, it was indeed overcrowded. Near the dock, a three Zhang Hai four sided platform has been erected, with a red painted large table placed on it. The table is complete with three animals and nine different tribute plates. Due to being late, the cattail on the ground had already been sat down. However, LV Zhong didn't care about this either, so he found an open space and sat down. End of this chapter